What's up guys? This, this is Josh with Basement Love of Magic. We are going to go into our third match with our Hardened Scales deck. It is Bant Hardened Scales. It had just top aided the GP in Indianapolis. Alright, and we won the die roll. Let's go ahead and play again. And this looks like a fine keep. We could probably use a few more creatures, but uh, not too shabby. And we can actually open up with the Canopy Vista without too much of a concern. We do have our basics so that we can turn on our other cards later. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you do enjoy this and would like to see more No J Standard decks, uh, please make sure to hit that like and comment button. Um, let us know what, you, what you're feeling about it. Hit the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate that one, too. All right, so Swift Spear. Uh, we probably need to get a creature out there early if that's the case. I don't really trust this Swift Spear. Yeah, we. you don't really like playing a face-up den protector, but against red, it's... Sometimes what the doctor orders. All right, fiery impulse. Ooh, yuck, gross. This could be a really fast game. <laughs> We're going to need those Arish and Clerics very soon, I'm pretty sure. I still maintain it. I think Feed the Clan might be a better option than Arash and Cleric in this deck. You know, you're turning Ferocious on all the time. Now that is... That would have been a good card to have available to us last turn. Yuck. Oh, okay, Flame Wake Phoenix. Not quite what I was anticipating there. But, you know, it's gonna it's gonna probably kill us, I'm sure. Well, we have a creature now, and we can actually kill. We can kill either cards. I think we go ahead and wait and see what our opponent does, though. I mean, otherwise, we go ahead and Dramoka's Command right now, um, making our guy a 2 2, killing either, either card is. Probably decent. Um, but I think let's wait and see. Hope, maybe he'll uh, go for some giant uh, Titan Strength move and we can do a Valorous Stance on him. Alright, so Abbot of Carol Keep. No, I don't remember if it reveals a card or exile. A Tarkus command. Does he have land? Don't have land. Ooh. Dodged a bullet there. Alright, and maybe we can do something something fancy here. We're gonna block that. Let's see if he does anything. Sorry about that, my alarm clock is going off. Ooh, okay, so he is Titan Strengthening the Phoenix. So we definitely want to kill that.
All right, so we don't take too much. Yeah, we didn't take any damage, so definitely where we wanted to be there. Ugh. We just can't do a lot with this, though. And the sad thing is our opponent obviously has at least two spells in hand or creatures. Because the Atarka's command, he wasn't able to play it last turn, meaning he didn't have a land. There's a Swift Spear, so he's gonna gonna be able to play that. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty tough out for us. I think that Winds of Calcisma once again is gonna come in handy. The uh, the two Arashian clerics will come in. Hey, right on time. A turn six hardened scales. Um, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be game on that one. All right, so this is a Tarka red. So we can expect some Teamer Battle Strength, as well as uh, Titans or Teamer Battle Rage. Um, Stubborn Denial is definitely going to be a good card to keep in here. Ration Clerics, Surge of Righteousness. Uh, we don't want to. I don't think we'll be going long enough to play the Den Protector style game. That might be wrong. Um, we're having a den protector might be okay, but we'll. I might actually keep in a den protector and side out two hangerback walkers. Yeah, I just think hangerback walker is probably a bit too slow. We really need these surge of righteousnesses and the uh, clerics. Winds of Calcisma could be worthwhile. It's just a matter of what I want to take out to put it in. The Valorous Stance, we need... Yeah, let's take out the Valorous Stance and play the uh, Winds of Calcisma. Um, actually, I don't even think we need... Yeah, we don't need either of the... Valor stance, and I'll play a second Den Protector. Um, we've got the Surge of Righteousness, which should honestly do better than the Valor stance. I don't want to be so go so defensive that we have like no shot at doing anything. Uh, we'll keep this. Uh, we could go for something a little bit faster. But we're not we're not really looking like we're gonna race in this matchup anyway. We're gonna grab just a basic forest and get hardened scales going. And a Swift Spear already on the board for him. <clears throat> that is a fine draw, if I must say so. Yeah, I'm just going to play the planes and we'll go ahead and make it look like we have absolutely nothing. Try passing through the turn. Hopefully our opponent will play like two Titan Strengths on our on his Swift Spear. Uh, looks like as much as he. Okay, so Swift Spear, that's fine. I 
I mean, we could just take out one of them right now, um, which is probably the best thing to do. Don't don't get tricky or funny. You know, this red deck can easily win on turn four, which is like modern style. Um, and there we go. We got another one. So hopefully this turn he's going to play uh, play some pump spells on that Swift Spear. If he's just going to attack for one, we'll, we'll, we'll allow it. So we'll grab our prairie stream. All right, and so <laughs> three, three in a row surge of righteousnesses. Uh, can't beat that, can you? Definitely the card that you're looking to play in this matchup. And here we do have the Feet of, Re Feet of Resistance and Surge of Righteousness, so we have a few different options to, to go for. Uh, Feet of Resistance is actually going to put on two 1-1 one -one counters, so we'll have a 5-4 quickly. All right, so that kind of decides that. We will uh, go ahead and save our guy, or at least try to. All right, well, I mean, the, the good thing is that at least we're making him use those spells on, I don't know why my thing is popping out. Um, at least we're making him use those spells on my turn. So he's not able to get all the prowess triggers on his turn. Um, unfortunately, we are, you know, shields down. So if he has... Okay, Abbot of Kirill Keep is a decent card for us to see. That's actually, I mean, that's not the greatest option. I'd rather be able to play Avatar when I have a creature with counters out there. Um, I'm just going to hold up both of the Surge of Righteousness right now. Yeah, do something. Haha. <laughs> Keep going, buddy. Um, the question is, do we want to allow him to get the scry? Probably not. So I want to kill his creature before he can scry off of Titan Strength. I'm not sure why all this is popping out all the time. Sorry about that. My dogs are going bonkers over here. Hey. So I am going to let him do it this time. And actually, I wonder... <laughs> I think I might have accidentally uh, did the surge on the wrong creature. We'll let him do the scry there. See if he does another thing. Yeah. Cast that team or battle rage. Alright. Either way, it worked out how I was hoping to. I think I I think I killed the wrong creature at first there though. And now we just get to sit. 
Um, we have, you know, Mana Gorger, Gorger Hydra is definitely a card you want to see right now. That's fine. You know, we're at 19 life, he's at 18. The, the sad thing is he's able to... Uh, Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, so he's going to get rid of our Hydra. And get the Flame White Phoenix out there. The Phoenix is a card that I haven't seen being played in this, in this setup too much. Yeah, that's uh, right on time, that Stubborn Denial. Or not, yeah. <laughs> Yasova. Okay. Yeah, we need to we need to hit some cards here. I'm not gonna block yet. Oh man. Avatar of the Resolute can be just bonkers, but bringing it out on a open board or a board with no counters is just not what you're looking to do. Our opponent is um, definitely going to steal our Avatar, so... Unless we want to kill our own avatar, I'm tempted to just attack. Surprisingly, this is not the first uh, list I've seen with Yasova Dragonclaw. You know, last last match, Surak comes out. This time, Yasova. You know, cards I really haven't seen much play at all are suddenly seeing a good deal of it. Yeah, I'm fully prepared to uh, take nine right here. Which is going to be awful. We need some way to get counters, and we need them quickly. That is not it. That is going to be game, folks. All right, well, uh, that was kind of a bummer. I'm just going to make it easy on our opponent because we are dead. Ah, fine. Okay, we won't. <laughs> we'll play it out. You should always play it out. You know, maybe, especially on Magic Online, people may make misclicks or whatever. Either way, it's not going to look good here. Tap two more. Ooh, that, uh, that seems like it will be tough for us. Tough to win. Ah, who knows? Sometimes they, they'll forget to pay for it. All right, so that is going to be it, guys. Uh, I'm just going to talk as he beats me. Uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Let us know what you think about this series. Uh, we will. I'll try to put out a couple decks this week, and uh, maybe we'll be able to 
do do some more do a couple decks every week. I think that would be kind of fun. Uh, if you enjoy that thought, uh, let let me know. All right, guys, this is Josh with Basement Level Magic, and we just got beat. Well, I, I was expecting to lose right there, so that's why I was timing my uh, my really cool exit saying at that time. But uh, yep, we are just barely gonna lose. Our opponent probably thought that we uh, had some way out, but we don't. All right. Come on back for the next time. Uh, we are we've got two more two more games to go in this five match league with hardened scales, uh, bant hardened scales that is. Like I said, if you enjoy this stuff, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, especially the subscribe button. We we're really trying to get up to a hundred subscribers real quick here. Um, maybe like I don't know. We've got some goals, but getting those subscribers is is what's going to be real important for us. Thanks, guys. This is Josh.